Guys, it's Matt Dancho here, and today what I want to do is fill you in on some updates with the Positron IDE that I'm working through, and um, also give you some updates on the new workshop that I'm developing, uh, which you guys are invited to attend. It's Learning Lab 94. So this is actually uh, what I'm going to be sharing in uh, the Learning Lab, but I'm also going to be teaching you, uh, in addition to, to how to do a sales forecast, um, what we're, I'm going to be doing is exposing you to this Positron IDE. Um, so I've been using it now for a couple of days. Uh, so Monday, I think I put the publish my first video. This is the second video, and now what I want to do is kind of go through some initial thoughts with you um, and share, you know, what I'm seeing, what I'm really liking, and some of the things that I think they still need to work out. Um, so you can, it can help you decide whether or not it's right for you. So um, things that I love, uh, first off, so this is a cool uh, little feature. If you run a SQL database um, or if you connect up to a database uh, and you have that connection object, uh, you can actually view, view that connection object. So I'm gonna go down here to variables and this is normally like where I would go to see like my databases, my data frames, you know, I wanna know, you know, what data sets I've got in here, but you can see I've got a database object, this connection and you can see how it has this little database icon here. If I click that, uh, what it does is it opens up the connection and then I can explore you know, all the tables that are in it. I can actually drill down and kind of see you know, what's inside here. Um, and then I know like which um, tables I want to pull in. In this case, I want to pull in for the workshop, the bikes, the bike shops, and the order lines because I'm going to be using data from all of those to do the sales forecast. So I thought that was really cool. If I go back to the session tab, I talked about this a lot last time, so I won't dive into it too much, but I really do love the having the variables right in front of you, all the values. You know, if you have a pandas data frame or pandas series, you got all that information here. If you got models, you can see, you can actually like drill into the model objects and stuff. So this is an ARIMA model that I actually created and you can see like literally the contents of what's inside it. That is insanely valuable. So here, let me open this up a little bit, this auto ARIMA. So you're going to see these forecasts up here. You can actually like dive into uh, and see what these models contain pretty pretty neat same thing with the stats forecast objects so you can see like what's inside here that makes exploring these objects a lot easier um, than having to like you know code them out to figure out what's inside them you can actually just see and glance real quickly right here so very cool for exploration it's going to make things a lot easier a lot more interactive for you so if you would like that then you know you definitely want to try give positron a try so i'm, I'm really enjoying that i i can't tell you how <laughs> how much time this is going to save me. The other thing too, I talked about this a lot last time, but I but I really want to emphasize how nice it is to have the plots available interactively. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the lab here, and here I'm making these forecast plots. Every time I run this code, I, I can just refresh and update these plots here, and then I can explore them. I can kind of drill in and see you know the the forecast, the the range, and so on. It's all right here in my plots panel. So all of that's stored here. So anytime you run a plot, they're all you know conveniently. I can I can get older ones or you know different things that I've been exploring. You got a history down here. That's very nice in my opinion. Some of the things that are still kind of a little buggy. Sometimes the help seems to work. Sometimes it doesn't. I noticed when I was using my PyTime TK pack. Package. I tried to pull in the, if I do question mark, TK summarize by time, which I know has documentation, it gives me this not found. So there's still, I think a couple of things. I'm not sure why, if that's on my, if that's a problem on my end or if that's on, on them, but um, you know, that's probably why this thing's in beta, but for other functions, it seemed to work. So if I didn't, if I do like SF dot plot, if I run this, um, you know, it, it seems to pull up the help documentation. But to be honest, I actually, this is how I use the help documentation. I just like highlight the, the function anyways and just scroll down and that seems to work. Like if I do, if I go down here to like TK summarize by time, I have the help documentation right here. So it definitely exists. I'm not sure why it's just not pulling it up, but there's also multiple ways to get to it. And this is the normal VS code way. The extensions too. So one other thing I'm noticing, some extensions are not in here. So Microsoft uh, extensions in here, like if you want Azure, I'm not sure if that's in here. There's, I think, okay, so this is MSVS code, that, that I think that's that's in there. But you just wanna watch out, make sure that all the extensions that you need are in there. There's also other ones for like SSH. 
So a lot of these are, you know, have only been downloaded like 1,000 times. So that's not like the, the right SSH tools that I would normally go after. So those are some things that you just need to be aware of. But overall, I, I give this a lot of credit for what Posit, formerly our studio, is doing. It's a great IDE so far. It's making, you know, doing the data exploration, being able to work with the data sets, being able to work with the SQL connections and anything that you're doing, like in this connections tab. I mean, to me, those are small things, but they're game changers when you add it all up. So I really like it and I look forward to seeing how it goes as they progress with it. Last thing, quick call to action, guys. If you are interested in seeing me do this analysis, the forecast analysis live, I am going to be sharing exactly what I did in order to be able to do all of these forecasts here. Uh, with the stats forecast package from Nixtla. Um, I'm also gonna be sharing some some even more insights on Positron, this new IDE. I really like it a lot, and I'm gonna share exactly how I code through all of this stuff. So we've got lots of code, lots of data that we're gonna be diving in. If you want that, if you wanna check that out, Learning Lab 94, you are invited to attend with me. It's on Wednesday, July 10th. So that's that's linked in the, in the notes below if you wanna attend. All right, see you soon, bye.